Let's see, because my neighbor found it the appropriate time to blast his stereo, I thought, hey, it'd be a nice time to record a session of Unleashed. That still says, alright. Let's see, Need for Speed, Shift to Unleashed. The arcade simulator that wants to be a simulator, but can't stray from its arcade roots. Yeah, that kind of sums up this game. However, you get to see me in the lab prepping a car for track day. This time it's a Mazda RX-7. Yeah, just putting some odds and ends on it. Maybe tweaking a little bit here and there. Just so that I could go a little bit faster and turn a little bit tighter than the competition. Which, by default, will have naturally better cars than mine. That's just how the game goes. You know, so far, kind of, what is it? I don't think it's still stock. But so far, it does look a bit, uh, does look good, so far. So, like, this is, like, back in the era where, um, Need for Speed games were, like, they were, like, starting to take away customization, but not to the full extent. As with, uh, when Criterion kind of took over, this is, um, I think Sonic the Mad Studio, so they're like, yeah, we want to put in customization with the game so you know it kind of feels old school then new school it's like simulation side but not completely new school it's like oh we can't really customize any vehicles anymore because manufacturers kind of hate on us doing that I'm like yeah like tell the people in LA that <laughs> like shit we get like a what a Ferrari and I was like oh let's see what kind of body case can we strap to this thing extra spoilers if you don't want to deal with the dynamic spoilers and shit or I gotta make this car look even more badass than it already does now I mean that's like the main goal of modifying your vehicle in the first place just to make it look more badass than what it is like you can start out with like a piece of shit car like uh let's see let's see what's a piece of shit car I can choose from like uh like a gremlin <laughs> you can start with a piece of your car like a gremlin and it's just like mod it to hell, tweak it, give it a new engine, like maybe a new body kit. And maybe, maybe it won't look like shit. <laughs> it still does look like shit though. Oh god, I, uh, that, that's another like car. So you could do a lot with European and Japanese cars, but when it comes into American cars, it's like, what? It's like, there's not much you can do with a box. <laughs> Take with my car, I like it to be low to the ground, but not so low that it kind of like, uh, Kind of messes with the uh, underside of the car. Guess that's why F1 cars have that little plate there to protect all the innards. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still fucking around with the settings a little bit, so I can just talk freely about anything and everything. Since I like freestyle, like, you know, I kind of go with the flow, off the cuff, improvisation. Another job is my forte. It's like, like, hang with people, I can chill, shoot the shit. That could be, like, uber serious. It's, like, all about the hustle. And the dog's asleep again, so if you hear any snoring in the background, it's him. Yep. It's like, I don't want to set this car for individual tracks. I just want to set it up for everything. Because in my mind, my car should be an all-around performer. Even though you only use it for one championship.
Oh, on an interesting note, I kind of finally figured out how to do launch control in the car. If the car has launch control to begin with, you know, I'm not gonna really like do that in real life with the cars I have now, because that that'll be kind of stupid. <laughs> Take cars off for work now for play. <laughs> That's what my mother tells me. <sighs> I'm like, yeah, if you've seen the kind of cars I've seen, yeah. I mean, there's a whole other world you don't even know about, Chica. No. <laughs> uh, no, no. Maybe? It's like a refined color. Yeah, but that's a shame. I think this is like the last Need for Speaking. Well, yeah, I think it is the last Need for Speaking that had like any kind of customization in it beyond uh, putting like NOS and the other stuff in your car. But then again, it's not really for like customization. For customization, it's kind of like pre design customized parts for your car and it's like okay so you get the spoiler you get a body kit but that's pretty much it the only thing you have full control over is like the rims and the paint and that's it rims paint maybe vinyls here and there but choosing a different body kit like in most wanted or underground it's like no you don't have any control over that which kind of sucks But I guess that's what happens when you have a game releasing every fucking year. Like year after year after year after year. And you're like, you know what? We, we can't spend time on like making individual pieces for every freaking car in the game. So it's like, you know what? Screw it. Just copy and paste. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. So hey, we had an Need for Speed game come out last year. By what company? Oh, uh, this company here. Company X, Y, and Z. Oh, we just copy and paste their work. Use their code and just bam. Bust another game. <laughs> Just put like a number behind it. So it's like, yeah. It's kind of like the Fast and the Furious. It's like, uh. Oh, damn, I almost wanted to attack line. So it's like on the, um. It's like, uh, damn. It's like original something. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Fast and Furious. Uh, uh tag lines. Yeah. Fast and Furious. New model. Original parts. <laughs> That's like a criterion game. It's like new model. Put original part, original codes. <laughs> Uh why it be so I do not like this track This is not a race track, this is a drift track. You're about to see why I kinda hate this game. I like this game, but then I hate it at the same time. And you're about to find out why. It's like I started to edit out like the bad parts of this race just to show you the good part but then it's like there's no good part it's just all bad parts <laughs> I don't like if the cars have the ability to drift through these corners then it'll, it'll probably be fine but they don't <laughs> And that's why the problems come come to play. Because meanwhile, while I'm like struggling to keep the car on the damn track, it's like the other cars are like bumping into me, or you know, some random crap happens and something. Uh, I can keep it tight, 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 tight. <laughs> or I'm not accelerating fast enough. It's not even a straightaway. No decent straights on this track whatsoever. 
Man, that's that F1 background coming into play. <laughs> it's like, well, an official racetrack would be three miles long, or three miles around. It'll have a signature corner or corners, and at least one straight. It's like one straight, signature corner or corners, and three miles in length. Unless you're never ranked in that, and you'd be like, you know what, fuck it, I have like all these <laughs> ideas, like everything in this one, in excess. So you can't make any serious moves in this car because it's uh, it's a mess. I've already lost so many positions, it's never funny. It's like just take this as a learning experience for next time. Wow. Alright. You made it through. Okay, can I continue the series? No. You can't continue the series. It's like, in, but this is another thing that kind of grabs my gears about this game is that in order to progress in the game, you have to get at least third to like go to the next thing. Here, it's like if you get like under third, even if it's in a series, it's like the game's like, no, you can't do it. You can't, you can't progress because it doesn't base anything on points. Fuck that track. Fuck that track. Ugh. I think this is like a special event. Or a special class event, I'm guessing I could probably max out this car and then race it. Because it's not, not like a Formula D or Formula C. It's just like a retro class, so it's like, well, maybe if I just max out the car, it'd be good. <laughs> mm. I think Pro Street had this problem too. However, Pro Street had, well, this game does have the same features as Pro Street. So I was about to say, I think Pro Street had like signature cards you can use on the tracks, but here it's like, yeah, it has the same thing, but you have to earn those. There's no cheat code. <laughs> to get around that. Because in Pro Street, if you use the cheat code to like unlock everything, you can play the boss drivers twice and end up with like a million dollars <laughs> at the end of it and all their cars twice <laughs> twice over however in the case of Pro Street after their cars are shit the only ones that were really useful Whereas the uh, drift car, I think it was like an RX-7, and is there anything else? And then it was like grip, drag, drift, and oh yeah, that uh, endurance. And, uh, I want to call it an endurance car, but uh, that's uh, 
This is like a free drive car. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> you guys didn't think I saw that, but I saw that. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I flipped my RX-7. A lot. <laughs> Let me tell you, you really think I give a shit about that now? <laughs> it's like, you got a warning from the stewards. I do not give two shits about your damn warnings. <laughs> you can take those warnings and shove them up your ass. Yeah, sometimes I have to get caught up watching the video in order to like say like really expressive expressive things. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm like just do like boring like just uh, the casual commentary route. I'm just talking about random thoughts here. It's like yeah, I'm just trying to get through this race, I'm trying to get better than P7. Tell you, what do you do when you know cars? When the AI doesn't like recognize your car, your vehicle that's on the road, it's like, you're like, okay, they're so fixated on that damn line that, you know, when you're like trying to take it, they're like, you know what, get the fuck off my line. So they just bump your ass out of the way. I think that was, yeah, that was like one of the main problems in the first game, too. In the first shift. And with the uh, actual, the uh, AI was like uh, programmed intentionally to like actually hunt your ass down. <laughs> Like, this AI is out to destroy you. They're not out to make friends. And you just beast your car. God damn! Hold your position off the line. Don't let anyone pass. I'll call the green. It's like now I know how Tom Cruise felt in that movie. So every time shit hits the fan, it's like you wake back up like, ah, damn. <laughs> or like the chick, she's like, I watched my boyfriend die 300 times. <laughs> I never could save him. <laughs> so finally she said, fuck it. Tucker did the same damn thing too. He's like, you know what? I, I tried to save you so many times, but every time I did, you just kept dying, so fuck it. <laughs> it's like it's one non stop train wreck. <laughs> Call it a montage. It's like Restart City, the sequel. 